What's up everyone, this is JR Production X, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to remove the passcode on Mac computers. Now this is going to work for any Mac computer, whether it's a MacBook Pro, Air, iMac, or a Mac Pro. It's going to work for all machines across the line. It doesn't matter what kind of software either that's installed on the machine, whether it's the older operating systems such as Tiger, or all the way up to the newing operating system such as Mountain Lion. Now this is a very simple tutorial, so let's get started. This tutorial will not delete any of your information, but this is a two-piece video. This is the first part in the series. This is going to show you how to get into the computer while it's asking for a passcode that you do not know. And the second video is going to show you guys how to take all the information that's already on the computer so you can still access it and use it even though it's asking for a passcode. So let's get started. First off, you want to do is turn off the machine. As you can tell right here, it's asking for the password. I don't know it, so what I'm going to do right now is turn off the machine. So I'm powering it down. So now we're going to boot it up. So boot it up and we're going to press down the command and S button at the same time. So right when you hear the sound, you want to hold down command and S until a different screen pops up. So keep on holding it. Now you want to let go of that. And just wait for it to just go through its loading process. Once it says root at the bottom, you know you're ready. Now we're just going to type some codes into the computer. It's just three short lines. It's just going to be mount space minus uw space forward slash. Then you want to click enter. Then click then click R M space forward slash V A R forward slash D B forward slash dot capital A Apple setup capital S then done and capital D enter shut down space minus h space space now and what this code does right here is basically checks the computer and thinking that it hasn't created a user yet and it's going to go through the setup phase so just click enter once you're ready it's going to go through all this coding and then it's going to shut down the next step is just to turn on the machine and like i previously mentioned before it's tricking the computer into thinking that you haven't created a setup yet so it's gonna take you through as if you just took it out of the box for the first time but don't worry all your files are still saved onto the original the original administrator or login person this is just creating another one so I'll just wait for it to boot up it's gonna fast forward this right now it's just gonna take you through the user guide so let's put in the, all your information now it's going to ask you for your name just like as if you're logging in for the first time. Now this name has to be different than the other one. And there you go, that's how you get into the Mac computer. To up here I am under tech review just as I typed in. It's going to take a few seconds to load up the bar and the rest of it but you see right here, here's all the other ones that I couldn't get into this video did help you out please give it a thumbs up it really does help out the channel if you guys have any video suggestions please leave one down below check out the second tutorial on how to get all the information that was already stored on the previous owners or the other account and put it onto the new one how you could access it and open it and all that it's gonna be another video it's going to be a video response to this video and there's also gonna be a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out see you guys in the next one this is JR Production X signing off peace